A union with workers in the tourist industry is threatening industrial action to coincide with next year's Rugby World Cup. The Unite Union is targeting entertainment venues such as Sky City Casino and is also calling on hotels to put 10% of higher room rates into a special fund for workers. Here's Jeff Hampton. And it's time New Zealand said we had enough of this, matey. Matt McCartan's Unite Union's been making plenty of noise lately. His members are fast food workers, hotel and casino staff and security personnel. They're amongst the country's lowest paid and McCartan's out to change that. He's got big plans for next year when the Rugby World Cup's held and money's flooding into the country. Speaking on TV3's The Nation, McCartan says many employment agreements are due round World Cup time. We don't want to wreck the World Cup, no, of course not. But we certainly um, are going to be lining up the employers at that time and saying, well, you're going to make a lot of my, 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 my money. You know, what's going to be the, wor uh, the worker share? The union's campaigning for it to be unacceptable to work for less than $15 an hour. And it wants 10% of higher room rates to go to a special workers fund. Auckland's Sky City Casino and entertainment venues are among the targets, as well as hotels which McCartan says will charge up to $2,000 a night while paying workers minimal wages. A spokesman for World Cup Minister Murray McCulley's office says the union's plans have nothing to do with the government. Any claims the union has should be taken up directly with employers. Jeff Hampton, 3 News.